Hey, it's Mason, and today is a favorites video. Finally, it's all I have to say. <laughs> As you can see, I'm sitting on my floor once again, and this is because I just like the feeling and the overall look of just sitting on my floor. Yeah, I just feel I just feel more in tune. Sitting on my floor and talking to my phone, yeah, it's great. Anyway, like I said before, today is a favorites video and I've been meaning to do one forever now and I think the last one I did was like a year ago. <laughs> it's about time I updated you on the things I like. So, so the Mason Avery tradition on this channel is to start off with the music favorites. First on the list is Melanie Martinez's K-12 album and film. Melanie's sound has definitely gotten a lot softer since Crybaby, but like I am not complaining. It sounds so good and so art pop-ish. I definitely love the concept of K-12 and I love the issues that were addressed throughout the film and album. Issues that definitely need to be tackled and I'm really glad she had her take on it. The movie though, I loved it visually. It was great, but the plot, it could have been worked on in my opinion, but I do understand that it's her first time for doing it like literally a film directing and all of the costume design. She did amazing, that's just my opinion. Come for me in the comments, I'm open to it. My favorite songs off of this album are Lunchbox Friends, Nurse's Office, The Principal, Detention, and Recess. Next on the list is Christian's Pink Lemonade album. I helped produce this body of work and it's such a coming of age type of album and it's this indie soft pop rock emotional roller coaster. It's such a fun thing to produce an album and then go back and listen to it. Three months later you have to listen for all the nitpicky things and you don't listen to the song as a song, you listen to it as like a project you're working on. Like you don't take it in as a song. You listen to all these individual things to make sure it sounds okay. But your ears reset after a little bit and you can go back and be like, wow, I helped make that. <laughs> Christian is such a wonderful person to work with. We're making things right now, his upcoming projects. I love his work ethic. It's great. Me and him are very connected on that level. Once we have our minds set on something, we are doing everything within our power to do it and get it done the right way. He's an upcoming artist that's trying to get his stuff out there and I'm definitely trying to help him do that. He is so insanely talented with his voice. Favorite songs off of this album are October 1st, Pink Lemonade, I Like You, On My Own, and I Am Human Too. I have some honorable mentions. I usually don't go into depth with these. So the first honorable mention is the Masquerade album by MXM Tune. Great album. I loved it so much. I really like, what's the name of that song? Unspoken Words is probably my favorite off the album. Next is Comfort Crowd by Conan Gray. <laughs> Next is Did It To Myself by Orla Gartland. I love the bass in this song so much. <laughs> it's so good. Next is the Chapter 2 EP by Girl in Red. Or more specifically, her two EPs combined together are the Beginnings album. The Girl in Red is such a cherishable little artist that I just appreciate so much. If you want to keep up with all of my music, I have a bops playlist on Spotify. I'll put the link down below if you want to follow it and keep up with all the music that I'm listening to. There's like 120 songs on it and I update it like every day. So like you can go listen if you want. Okay, so the next section that I'll talk about in my favorites are the clothes. <laughs> Now, usually with clothing, I will do a bunch of thrifted things. I usually don't go out and buy like really expensive clothes and it's just better to buy thrifted and upcycled things. But for the first thing on this list is this champion navy blue hoodie that's super big and super comfy. Fall is coming up and I just needed a hoodie to have my cold mornings in and I love it with all my heart. Now this was not a hand-me-down or a thrifted item. This is from me a little gift to myself for, <laughs> for myself. High quality and I love the navy blue color. Blue has been my thing here lately. Don't know what's up with that. Next on the list 
is these Adidas Stan Smiths with the red on them. A bunch of people have the green ones and I ended up finding these at a thrift store for like $5 and they just happened to be my size. That's what I wear as my regular tennis shoe. They're also a little scuffed up, but like I don't mind. To me, it adds a little character. Next is this yellow and denim blue button up. Also got this thrifted at Goodwill for like $5. I love the color scheme. Like I said, blue and then the yellow. Just aesthetic clothing at thrift stores. It draws to me. <laughs> That's all for clothing. I usually, I'm not too big on clothing. So next is my entertainment favorites. This one's quite lengthy. First on the entertainment list is the show Euphoria. It is a HBO show that Zendaya, I believe is co-creator or like co-producer or something of the sort. And she plays the main character, Rue. This show portrays addiction, I would say very accurately. And I say that because of my personal observance of addiction, like what I've seen of it. I can say it does accurately depict addiction and it doesn't try to romanticize it just like one show on Netflix does. Um, We won't talk about that. The cast and the acting of this show is incredible. It is so good. I don't know how you couldn't have done better with the cast. The diversity of the show is also so amazing. It's so well represented. The show definitely deserves the attention it's getting right now. All of the actors deserve the attention they're getting as well. I will warn you though, there is a lot <laughs> of nudity and cursing in this TV show. So don't go into the show expecting a nice family friendly type of thing. It's just not it. It is HBO. Do I need to remind you that it's HBO? That tends to happen with the, the late night movie channel things. If you're like me in Pro Hack, sign up for HBO now for like a week and binge it and then cancel your subscription before it like rolls over out of the trial. So that's how I watched Euphoria without having to like really pay anything. So next on the entertainment list is podcasts. Now I feel like from an outside perspective, someone would think I'm not the type of person to listen to podcasts. I'm very into comedy, comedic podcasts. The main reason I listen to podcasts is I will put them on and I will fall to sleep to them. I'll fall to sleep to them. I will fall asleep to them. I love drifting off to like white noise and like listening to people talk. It just helps me go to sleep for some reason. My favorite podcasts are Ear Biscuits, Jenna Julian, the H3 podcast, and then Unfiltered with Zane and Heath. That's more of a newer one, so I haven't gotten to really delve into that one yet. Most of these are like humor and dark humor with a mix of um, adultish humor, so not all family friendly. I would say Ear Biscuits and Jenna Julian are the more family friendly ones. I usually stick to comedic podcasts because they make me feel better about things in general. And I usually like to hear people's opinions that have a more lighter take on situations instead of someone being super serious about something. I like to enjoy opinions that are just kind of up in the air, if that makes sense. Yeah, so that's it for the entertainment. The next and last on the list is miscellaneous favorites. So this artist I've been following for quite a while now called Flex PNG. They recently came out with a cowboy zine. I love it so much. Here's like a little spread. I'm not going to show much. Well, it's not available anymore, but I just love the art. Like, look at that. They're absolutely amazing and I recommend giving them a follow. It's at flesh.png on Instagram. Their art in general is so, it's like neat, but yet sketchy and colorful at the same time. I, I'm obsessed with it. They also sent me their poster, which is like right here. Very memorable art. So next on the miscellaneous list is my lecterm journal. I write everything in this. Just love it with my heart. Everything goes in here. The quality is also super nice. I've had it for like two years. So last on the miscellaneous list is this little yellow AirPods case. It protects the AirPods and I like the color and it's like soft and squishy. And then I can hook it to my keys whenever I don't feel like carrying around AirPods in my pocket all day. That was it for this favorites video. I hope you enjoyed delving into what I like and what I've been up to. That made no sense. I'm so tired. I will have one video out next week and that's probably going to be a room tour. Don't know specifically yet. After that, I'll be doing the Inktober series plus a video each week. I hope you guys have a good week and let me know some of your favorites down in the comments. I really appreciate it. I guess I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. Why does my hair keep doing this? It's like, it needs to go.
Do y'all know that reference? My eye, my eyebrow looks like it has a freaking dent in it. A trim, like, I'm, I promise you it's not on purpose. Like, I did not mean to do that. Uh, bye.